Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, It's been a little bit of time, but we're back here. Um, a friend of ours, a really close friend of ours, was actually killed in a car accident about two weeks ago, but we're finally getting back in the full swing of things here. Uh, in today's video, it's <clears throat> it's about 70 degrees right now, so we're going to be going outside, taking a little bit of drone footage. Haven't really got to fly my drone all that much. It's a Mavic Mini little guy. It's like fits in the palm of your hand type deal. Uh, we're going to be flying him around a little bit, taking some footage of my truck. And then there is a video that I posted maybe like six months ago at this point of my truck. We're going to be taking that video down and then we're going to do like a complete new like walk around, show you guys all the features of my truck, what's done to the engine, bore link, yada yada, blah, 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 all the stuff. So complete walk around on it. And then from here going forwards, including today, I'm going to start... Um, Filming just like some different product reviews, uh, the tires that are on my truck, the Venom Power tires. I've sold a handful of sets since I put them on my truck. A lot of people have been asking about them, like how they wear or how they ride. So full video on that coming up, as well as some other cool stuff. Chris has some stuff coming out too that he's been filming and going over. So uh, a few different product reviews coming up soon. And uh, that's, uh, that's about it. So. Get racks every day, she fuck with me now. I told her to lay my hook in the water, she liking my bay. Ain't saving a hoe, I don't wear a cave. You beef with me, don't think you ever save. I hop in the four and it dry like a race. You sipping the henny, I don't need a chase. We dodging the feds and catching no case. I stay in the trap, get racks every day. She fuck with me now, I told her to lay my hook in the water, she liking my bay. Ain't saving a hoe, I don't wear a cave. You beef with me, don't think you ever save. I hop in the four and it dry like a race. We sipping the henny, I don't need a chase. We dodging the feds and catching no case. I scout blue hunters, always make my day. I slide on your block, I hop on my sleigh. I pray to God I make it home to the day. Stop trying to get me and lock me away. You act like you tough, what you trying to betray? I fuck a good route, but she wanna stay. Since we lost the car, you gotta take her and Tay. I ask for him back every time that I pray. I crew pull up deep just like a parade. These niggas is bugs. For this truck is a 1993 F350, uh, 12 valve Cummins swapped. I did put the, this engine in in July. Uh, the bottom end of this thing is board 20 over with marine pistons and shot peen rods and a Hamilton 188 220 cam. As for the head in this thing, it's super basic. It just has it's an overinged head, 110 pound valve springs, the Hamilton heavy duty push rods in it. As for the pump, it is a 180 pump that was benched and maxed by uh, Antrim Diesel in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Injector wise, it's got a set of 5x18 ducky fuel injection, 5x18s with uh, no edge filters, brand new Bosch units, not remands. Um, manifold is a t3 steed speed and then the charger is a s363 sxe and then the larger charger is an s475 just like a box like super basic unit um all the piping on this thing i made myself because i initially bought a kit and tried to do an over under and there's just like absolutely no room back there at all so i built this custom hot pipe just goes down around the coil bucket here which was the main thing like differentiating this setup to like a normal second gen setup normally they sit like the hot pipes that's really close to the to the firewall and then kind of puts the turbo like here instead but i just didn't have that kind of space underneath there is a wastegate just plumbed back into the hot pipe there i uh, had a video previously showing all that uh, just has like a little bracket that I built to hold some of the weight of the S475 on there. Uh, when I got this engine, it came with this fleece coolant bypass, which is really nice. Always nice to have. Um, besides that, it just has a uh, tappet cover on there, a billet tappet cover. The engine's timed to 21 degrees. Like I showed you guys last time, do have the Banks uh, power twin ram on there. Um, really nice. Nice looking intake. Got it powder coated by my buddy Chad at CMS Coatings. Eventually, I want to kind of sand this down so it's like looks milled there. When I went from my single turbo, which this was my original single turbo, my original setup with this was I had the steed speed with this single charger here and a set of ducky fuel injection 5x12s. And the setup made with not a maxed and balanced um, 180, just whatever eBay ports in the pump the truck made nine or sorry 
440 horsepower, 925 foot pounds of torque. So um, I actually dyno this thing without a wastegate, which was a terrible idea, and it made 525 or so. So I wanna get it back out on the dyno and give it a shot out there um, to put that into to perspective a little bit. I looked up a compressor chart for the small turbo here, and it's peak efficiency is right around 35 PSI. And when, before I put the gate on, it was reaching about 65 PSI. So it was way out of the efficiency range. So it's probably just getting super heat soaked and spinning way too fast and just taking all the power out of the setup. So I do want to take this thing back, which will be soon. I hope, I always say that. I always feel like I run out of time um, but this thing's kind of been in storage and now that it's getting nice outside today, it's 70. So it's really, really nice. Um, onto the outside of the truck and close this. This is a Cervini's two inch cow hood. It's fiberglass. Really nice. I like the Cervini stuff. Um, 08 front bumper. These little, uh, cube lights here from High's LED, uh, don't really use them all that much, but they are really, really bright. These headlights were initially built by Tony Rojo and then rebuilt again by Andrew Springer. So those things are really, really nice. Um, nice projectors. I actually got to get them readjusted. Uh, down here at the bottom, we got some powder coated stuff. Uh, PMF dual steering stabilizer, which is going to be for sale soon. I'm going to go to something different with a set of Bilstein 5100s in the front that are nicely that one's dirty over there but all the components in the front end were replaced fairly recently with oem stuff this thing's got a bd track bar on it front suspension wise got a set of carly 2.5 inch leveling coils with a set of fox 2.0s and then a set of a four link from flight fab flight fabrication it's the same thing for the rear which we'll get to in a second uh traction bars from flight fabrication like I stated previously in some other videos, these are a set of 24 by 12 American Force blitzes and polished with a 35, 1350 Venom Power Terra Hunter XT, which in a really, really soon video, I'm gonna be doing a review on these tires. Um, had a bunch of people ask me about them. Actually had the people who I bought them from ask me how I liked them because they haven't had it heard any reviews on them so really soon we'll talk about these tires here got a set of true spike lug nuts these things are really cool kind of hard to see but they are the same color as my truck which is really neat i like those things a lot the name plates on the traction bars are also the same color as my truck as for the trans in this thing sneak peek it's got a muldoon stage one with a ratchet shifter with lock up and overdrive on switches just a stage one with a build input shaft nothing too crazy uh fast 220 and uh here's the flight fat bars again the name plates are powder coated the same color as my truck fox 20s in the back to match the fronts got this tailgate panel here from obs solutions kind of just it's like the, almost like the factory one super easy just these two bolts here on both sides and that thing goes right on there. I am gonna get that thing polished at some point just to match the wheels, but for right now, it's this really nice brush finish. Uh, as for the rear, it just has um, a four to five inch exhaust that's axle dumped, a little bit more suspension stuff that's powder coated silver, it does have just one single 19 gallon tank in the rear with a mini sump, and then uh, it has an 08 diff cover on it nothing fancy just nice painted axles under here and to finish up the rear just have a Cervini's roll pan in the back super nice fiberglass and uh a set of smoked led tail lights built by andrew springer all all my back graphics are by a company on facebook called just fab graphics really affordable really fast turnaround time fits really well they do custom wraps. They do like a bunch of like apparel and anything really, but I don't really just use them for stickers and banners and these back window wraps, which are see-through. It's a perforated vinyl. For the cover here, you got a Truxedo Truck Sport, just a simple roll-up cover, super nice. 
I had one that was like the snaps. So I, I couldn't stand that. As for the tint in this thing, it's got 5% in the back, 20% in the front, and then a 5% brow across the top of the wind, windshield. It's got a set of Chevy mirrors on here with just the weld on plates. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just weld on plates. Had a buddy take them apart, smooth them, paint them the same color with a smoked blinker, which is not wired up. As for the interior, I wish I had some nice fancy rugs or some sill plates or something. That's in the near future, I guess, but just got a Lariat interior um, from like an 05 with captain's chairs. I have some boxes in the back seat, so I just had to show this past weekend, but we got three gauges up here, um, trains temp boost and uh, EGT. And then we have three down here too on the bottom. And those are um, driveline pressure, coolant temp and uh, fuel pressure. I do have the double din head unit in here. Not a huge fan. I actually have a new dash that's going in this thing so I can put a single din back in. Probably do like a flip up unit, something along those lines. I forget what this is from, like an excursion or a expedition or something like that. So a few things I want to do in the future to the truck. I definitely want to get the tailgate panel in the back polished uh, just to go with the polished wheels. I don't think I'm going to go back to a brushed wheel. Um, and if I do eventually, then I guess we'll figure that out when I get there. But as for wheels, I really like these 12 wides that I have. This is just about the last American Force design that I can see myself getting. If for some reason I sold these and got another forge wheel, I'd probably go with one of the new forge wheels that have come out. KG1 is one of them. They do a really cool set of wheels. Um, and Liberty Forged, who's the one that we just did, the billet center caps, they're actually coming out their own lineup of, of forged wheels. What I'd really like to do though, is get a set of 14 wides for the truck and keep these 24 by four, or 24 by 12 American Forces that I have now and just take the tires off them and put them onto a set of 14 wides and see if I like them. Probably go with a cast wheel, like a Cali off-road wheel. Makes Cali off-road makes a really nice chrome wheel. Hardcore off-road makes a really cool chrome wheel also. So probably one of the two of those is what I'm gonna go with. I like to do that before we go to Daytona, which gets me into the next topic of discussion is what events will I be attending this year or that we will be attending this year. So what we have on the calendar is pending via the coronavirus, but the first weekend of April is a dino day in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at um, Eric McMichael's shop. His shop's called McMichael's Diesel and Performance. That's on the first weekend of April. Catch us out there. I hope pending on the coronavirus scare, um, there's gonna be a dino day. It's a dino day and a show and shine. If the event still happens, I plan on dynoing my truck that day. So first week in April, uh, McMichael Diesel and Performance Dino Day. It's, I think it's the second annual Dino Day. Dynoing my truck. Besides that, we want to catch Rudy's, which is in the middle to the end of April. Plan on going down to Cruise Week, which is really for business, just for fun. But if you guys want to catch us down there, we'll be out and about. Um, I do plan on going to Daytona Lake we talked about and uh, plan on going to Carlisle Truck Nationals and I wanna to go to Bloomsburg this year also. And then besides that, our schedule's pretty open to just do just about whatever if it lines up with uh, just like day to day, like everything else that's going on, like our regular lives. But those are the four or five shows that we plan on going to right now that are like semi-local. Oh, and Atlantic City Truck Meet. Can't forget she that one. Me so. now, I told her my in the water, she liking my babe. Ain't saving a hoe, I don't wear a cane. You be free with me, don't think you ever save. I hop in the phone and draw like a race. We sipping the Henny, I do need a chase. We dodging the feds and catching no case. I scout blue hunters, always make my day. I slide on your block, I hop on my sleigh. I pray to God I make it home to the day. Stop trying to get me and lock me away. You act like you tough, what you trying to betray. I fuck a good route, but she wanna stay. Since we lost the car, you gotta take her a tay. I ask for him back every time that I pray. I crew pull up deep just like a parade. These niggas is bugs, I go get my raid. I got you in shock, do the thought of our taste. So a few things I want to do in the future to the truck um, is I definitely want to get the tailgate panel in the back polished uh, just to go with the polished wheels. I don't think I'm going to go back to a brushed wheel. Um, and if I do eventually, then I guess we'll figure that out when I get there. But um, as for wheels, I really like these 12 wides that I have. This is just about the last American Force design that I can see myself getting. 
if for some reason I sold these and got another forged wheel, I'd probably go with one of the new forged wheels that have come out. Um, KG1 is one of them. They do a really cool set of wheels. Um, and Liberty Forged, who's the one that we just did, the billet center caps, they're actually coming out their own lineup of, uh, of forged wheels. So check out those designs also.